We overdress, we migrants. We care too much how we look to you. We get it wrong. We ought to look like we don't give a bleep. We show up ridiculously groomed, bearing elaborate gifts. We are too formally grateful. We cringe in silent shame for you when you don't offer food or drink. Eat before us without sharing. Serve yourselves first. Insult us without knowing. Two white Americans said to me when I shared my donut with them, "We've never seen anyone cut a donut into three pieces." We calibrate hunger precisely, define enough differently from you. Enough is what's available, shared between everyone present. We are incapable of saying as you can so easily. Sorry, there's not enough for you. We absorb information without asking questions. Questions cost us jobs, visas, lives. We watch and copy. We try to please. We hold back in conversations. We don't contradict, so we don't show you up. You mistake it for a lack of intellectual confidence. How much we can do without is our strength, but you find it comic, pitiable, miserly. You just can't imagine how a family of eight lives in a one-room apartment. You don't want to think how someone survives on seven dollars an hour. It makes you uncomfortable when we eat stems and peels, dry our clothes in the sun, repair instead of replace. You mistake austerity, living without waste, for deprivation. It's our job to protect you from the discomfort of seeing inequality, to cushion your sense of cosmopolitan hipness when you hang out with us. Without ever challenging you too far, we admire your sixty-five dollar haircut when you pay us twenty-two dollars a day to raise your child. We love your children when their strollers cost more than a year's rent where we come from. We turn away when they throw food around like another toy to hide our tears at images we carry of children fighting over half a banana, children picking grains of rice off the floor. We recoil when you joke how they'll do social justice work in Palestine as teenagers, as if Palestine will never be anything but a social justice summer camp, a case study in genocidal oppression for wealthy American teens with wannabe radical parents. We suck it up when you ask if your children can touch our hair, our skin, our clothes, as if we were wax models.